Warning, this episode contains a scene depicting an attempted suicide. Some viewers may find this disturbing, offensive, and depressing. If you feel you are in need of help, please call the number on your screen. If there's a suicide-related emergency, please call 911 or your local emergency service hotline. Okay, he's gonna run over the spikes. May I know what are you gonna do there? I need to let him know that fire is hot. What the fuck? Oh my god. That mustache though. I swear to god, if you don't drop the gun, you are gonna die tonight. We need a fire department out here as well. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, what is happening? They're headed towards us, they're headed towards us. Whoa, look out, look out, look out! Hello everyone, my name is Nighthawk. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. We are gonna be taking it back to Blaine County again. And uh, we're gonna be using this beautiful CVPI in its uh, beautiful livery, which is inspired by Lumpkin County. And it's a beautiful uh, black livery on my car. We got Bob with us since uh, the station does have a K9 selection, uh, since it has the doghouse in it. So I was able to. Uh, bring Bob with us for tonight's patrol. So we're gonna be patrolling, well, pretty much the Sandy Shore, Grapeseed, Harmony area. And uh, we're gonna see what we're gonna get ourselves into. So for now, we're gonna get into our court cases. Now, before that, I wanna uh, thank the people who just recently subscribed to my channel. I know most of them have just came over from the Facebook group LSPDFR. And thank you guys so much for uh, subscribing to this channel. Hopefully, you guys are watching this video. Um, I wasn't expecting any response to that uh, post I made on that uh, Facebook group. But uh, that apparently uh, gave me a couple more subscribers. So, from 23 to 28 subscribers. That might not sound like a lot, but relative to the uh, normal activity on my channel, it's quite a lot. Usually, I get about uh, 1 or 2 subscribers every 48 to 72 hours. But uh, recently... I haven't been getting any subscribers, so I I am so grateful for you guys for subscribing to my channel and taking the time to check it out and, you know, uh, appreciate what I do here on this channel. Um, I've just started a Facebook page as well for this uh, channel, so I'll put a link to it in the description below. Uh, there I'm going to be posting my behind-the-scenes content and, you know, some some content related to my channel and, you know, post some updates as well, just in case I can't make a video due to some reasons so that facebook page might come in handy so yeah that's gonna be it let's do our court cases here another thing um something i decided to do when i do the court cases i'm not gonna be doing those flashbacks anymore i do in the previous episodes where i just you know temporarily do a flashback of the previous episode and uh you know recap those events it just takes way too much time and also it's a pain in the ass to edit. It's just a pain in the ass to edit and splice in those flashbacks along with my narration. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just what I'm gonna do is just uh, briefly narrate the events as briefly as I can. Not gonna show the flashback anymore. Just gonna show the charges and I'm just gonna put a pop up to the video on the upper right corner to the episode in question. That's it because yeah, yeah, it. Anyone? takes way too much time and it increases my editing time just to put in those uh, recalls or flashbacks in the uh, uh, viewing of the court cases so that's gonna be it let's do the court cases here real quick it should be right around here now I believe Claire Walsh up until John Bond are the court cases we need to look at today. They are all guilty. So Claire Walsh, uh, we did a felony stop on uh, him. And uh, it was a tra routine traffic stop and it turned into a felony stop. And uh, because uh, we dispatch notified me that uh, this guy has warrants for uh, aiding and abetting a fugitive. And uh, we found a suicide vest on him. So he's going to be going in for possession of destructive devices as well. So he's going to be going in for 11 years and 4 months. Next is Leonard Molino. 
17 years and 8 months. It is gonna be... Uh, wow, I'm not gonna bother reading all of this, but... Uh, uh, you, we responded to a call of an attempted rape and uh, we spent hours looking for this woman and uh, we eventually found her and she pointed out to us the vehicle in question and sure enough we find this guy not far from uh, where we were searching and uh, we got him arrested and we found a gag, condom and some stuff that pointed to evidence of a attempted rape. Next to Jacob Morrison 72 years, holy shit, rape capital murder. This was another felony stop. Uh, it was just a traffic stop that just turned into a felony stop. And uh, he had uh, warrants for rape and capital murder. Um, we stopped him because he stole some gas. And uh, once we came into contact with him, we found out he has these warrants. So he's going to be going away for quite a while. And he's probably going to die in jail or he's probably going to be white-haired by the time he comes out. Second to the last, Chris Romero, 11 months. DOI, um, we responded to an officer requesting assistance on a traffic stop and airport police unit, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> Goddamn voice cracks. And, uh, he was over the limit when we breathalyzed him, and uh, we got him into custody for driving under the influence. He's not gonna go away for a very long time, but uh, 11 months is still quite a while. Lastly, we got John Bond, 76 years. Uh, we got into a pursuit of a stolen police vehicle. It was a Port Authority police vehicle that's been stolen. And uh, the pursuit went on for probably a good 10 to 15 minutes. And it ended up here out in uh, Blaine County. And uh, we eventually got him stopped. And once we did, he did try to shoot at us. And uh, we, got him into, uh, we got him into custody because uh, we tased his ass before he could uh, get a bullet into us. So that's going to be it. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and clear these two court cases here because um, I did attempt to record an episode of LSPDFR earlier and and what do you know, it fucking crashed and I rage quit the hell out of that. Out of that. So, um, Earl White, Megan Blue, I'm gonna delete these because, again, it's part of an episode that I just rage quit it out of and these arrests are not gonna make sense if I just put them in there, so I'm just gonna delete them. Okay, spent so much time on that. Got Bab, Bab, there you go. Bob with us back there. I got the CVPI. I've switched out the sirens for uh, the sheriff units. The sounds apply to all sheriff units, so we get uh, Wayland Sencom Rumbler. I believe it's a Sencom Sapphire Rumbler. Rumbler. I think I only have the whale and the yelp here. The air horn is still the default air horn that, you know, not the default game air horn, but the air horn that's pretty much used by all ELS vehicles. So the air horn is pretty much a federal signal variant, but uh, we got a rumbler with us. And it sounds awesome. Another issue with the. Uh, uh, ELS string for this one, the siren that I placed on this vehicle is that this is not how it's supposed to sound like. The original uh, sound is actually higher pitched and it's actually been discussed in the forums. I'll put a link into that as well regarding ELS strings and basically we can't figure out why this siren has a lower pitch than normal, why the game is making this siren a lower pitch than normal but I don't know the developer of ELS hasn't been seen for a while so we will never know if that will be resolved or not but uh, nonetheless ELS is in a functioning state so I don't want to complain too much so dispatch will at 15 show me 10-8 out of Sandy Shores HQ 10-4 in the Vinewood area. We've got assistance required at Roadblock and Grande Sonora Desert. This patrol team show me and route to that roadblock request. Looks like we need to put down some spikes because we got a pursuit headed down our path. We're not sure. It's on this intersection. But uh, we'll see where this pursuit comes from. We need to put down some spikes real fast. So I'm going to configure the spike length here real quick. So we need to get traffic out of here as well. So I'm going to close the road down here before I enter into that zone. So I'm going to stop traffic here real quick so that 
people don't get in harm's way. So we're gonna get onto the uh, thingy here. I'm getting into the path. I'm not sure where exactly the pursuit is originating from. But uh, we're gonna lay down some spikes as soon as we get confirmation as to where that pursuit is. I'm just gonna stop here. Dispatch 1 Liquid 15, we're in that area where that roadblock is needed. I have no idea where we need to put down the a, uh, spike strips. Oh, it's coming from that direction. Okay, we're gonna place them spikes down here real quick. Okay, we got some spikes down. Probably too much, but I think that covers the entire road. So I got vehicles stopped. Oh, it's coming this way. I think I should clear the traffic control or something like that. I think he's gonna drive this way. That's the suspect vehicle over there, apparently. So I should... Okay, he's gonna run over the spikes. He ran over the spikes. He ran over the spikes. Yeah, we got my arm, but there's no changes here. Okay. I think we got him on the spike, so dispatch, show me attach that pursuit. Suspect hit the spike strips. Looks like he's gonna be on Panorama northbound, headed towards Marina. Close to Almo C. Hopefully I did not spike the uh, unit here in the process, and it looks like I may have did so. So he's probably gonna be out for the count. Dispatch only can show me on primary. He should have maintained his distance, but uh, he was tailing the suspect way too close and I couldn't pull out the spike strips on time. Looks like he's got some damage and... Uh, does he have some flat tires? Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I am so sorry. Oh my god. Looks like he has a flat tire at the front right, but uh, looks like we may need to uh, get more spike strips unit out here. So dispatch one liquid 15. Uh, call in the cavalry. We need more units down here. I'm gonna call in two units. Oh! Hit him on the left quarter panel there. Yes, please respond here, code 3, to my location. He's headed back down towards a panorama. We're gonna be eastbound on West Joshua Road. That other unit is still trying to join that pursuit with a flat tire. Dispatch on liquid 15. I'm, I'm gonna need spike strips down here. We're gonna be eastbound West Joshua Road. Oh my god, he just turned left right as the officer laid some spike strips. You sneaky son of a bitch. Vehicle, vehicle is occupied one time, no idea why he's uh, running. But, uh, we need to get him stopped as soon as possible. Oh, passing by the tractor. He's making the right onto uh, Merengue Lane. Now we're back on Algonquin, eastbound Algonquin. Need another unit here, so that once we get this guy pit, he's gonna be out of options. Now we're southbound Panorama Drive, made a sudden left turn, now eastbound Zancudo Avenue. Got a unit up ahead, gonna try to intercept him. Oh! Near collision there. I'm gonna disable tactics here because it's not gonna be... Or, I don't know. I'm gonna disable tactics because he's gonna go crazy over there. But uh, he already did the pit and he's up against the thing. I think he's, she's surrendering, she's surrendering. Uh, oh my god, what the fuck? Wow, thanks guys. I'm gonna write you up later for running me over. Get out of the car, ma'am. Get out of the car. Wow. Don't push your car down, ma'am. Just get on the ground. Oh my god, she's under the car. Oh my god, how am I gonna arrest her? Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna do this real quick before the car just goes flying off into the air because of physics. Dispatch only could 15. We're gonna be 1015. Subject is 1015. That did not turn out as I expected, but uh, we got her. 
That's what matters. Got a couple of Fort Police Interceptor sedans down here. That just decided to run me over for some fucking reason. Alright. I'm not sure why she ran. I'm not sure where the uh, first uh, responding officer is, but uh, we're gonna figure that out soon enough. Alright, ma'am, is there anything illegal on you that I should know about? Why do you need to fucking know? Well, because you're under fucking arrest. Uh, deputies, can you go ahead and search her real quick? I'm gonna search the car here. Jesus. Um, let's search the vehicle here real quick, or maybe we should run the plate of the vehicle first. Dispatch only at 15, can you get a 28 on vehicle involved in the pursuit? It's gonna be a Ballista 41 Nora uh, Zebra Queen 618, and looks like there's nothing of interest on her, and her name is Kate Millerton. Stolen vehicle, there you go. That's a first. I rarely get stolen vehicle flags out here anymore, and she's intoxicated, of course. Alright ma'am, I smell alcohol from you, so be honest with me, how much have you had to drink tonight? How many hours does alcohol stay on your organism? I honestly do not know, but... Probably long enough that uh, you decided to steal this car. Alright. Uh, deputies, can one of you uh, give her a drug test? There's alcohol on her. There's alcohol in her system. So this is a stolen vehicle, apparently. I wonder why she ran, and she's also intoxicated as well. 0.145. Almost an excessive DUI right there. Okay, let's search the vehicle if I can just get up on this uh, uh, steep incline here. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna maneuver this car slightly onto the flat surface here so that I can search it properly. It's slightly damaged. Mr. Cody Fisher here, the registered owner of this vehicle, is not going to be happy about uh, what happened here. But I'm pretty sure uh, Miss Millerton, Millerton, Miss Millerton, Mil Millerton, I can't fucking pronounce her name, Miss Mil Millerton over there, wouldn't mind paying the uh, damages for this uh, vehicle. So there's nothing in there. I mean, it is a stolen vehicle. I don't think she's going to put her stash of uh, narcotics or alcohol in there. Or weapons if she had any so yeah let's do the arrest report it's gonna be DUI felony evading and yeah possession of a stolen vehicle and as far as I know being in possession of a stolen vehicle regardless of the circumstances is a felony so I'm gonna bring her out here so I can get her ID then we're gonna do the arrest report so I'll be right back shortly and she is under the influence of narcotics as well so, deputy, please give her a drug test, a drug swab real quick so I can uh, see if she's under the influence of narcotics here, although we didn't find any. Okay, let's do the arrest. Oh, I almost got into the wrong car here, and she is positive for narcotics. Marijuana and positive. Oh, crap. People never have the patience, okay. My car's been blocked in because these pricks ran me over at the last second while I was trying to get her out of the car. I'm gonna write these people up later. I appreciate your help, deputies, but next time watch where you're reversing, cause you nearly got me squished into a pancake here. Uh, what the fuck was that? I'm just, I just teleported into my, I can't get in my car. I'm probably gonna have to go in through here. Cause these people have blocked my, are you serious? I cannot get into my car. Oh my god, I cannot get into my car. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to... Deputies, if you don't mind, I'm gonna have to move your car out of the way. Because I cannot, for the life of me, get into uh, my car. Because you guys are just absolute pros at this, aren't you? Who is this? In all my years on the force. Yeah, in all your years of the force, you decided to run me over. What is she doing? She's a blue blip on the map. Oh, she's a backup unit, but uh, she's appearing as a blue blip. I don't know why. 
Okay, can I get in my car now? Please tell me I can get into my car. There we go. God. I'm gonna write this deputy up, I swear to God. I'm gonna write him up for... I don't know. Fucking incompetence. And running me the fuck over. Okay. Let's do a record check on Millerton. Mm, God damn it, I can't pronounce her last name. Kate Millerton. And she's clear on the system, but not for long, because we're gonna write her arrest report. It's gonna be being in possession of a stolen vehicle, uh, driving under the influence, and attempting to flee elude police. And I believe that's gonna be it. Two felonies, one misdemeanor bondable. I mean, she didn't kill anybody, although she almost did, in the process. So we're gonna create that arrest report. Hopefully I did not forget anything, but nonetheless, those are the three main charges we should be concerned about. So, court date is gonna be June 8th, so one or two episodes, we're gonna see the results of that. And once again, as I mentioned earlier, no flashbacks, because that takes a long fucking time to edit. So, on that note... Can you assholes take her away now? 1016, back to the station. We're gonna be clear off of this. Assistance required on Marina Drive. Alright, I'm gonna dismiss everyone now. I don't know what she's doing over there, just hiding in the bush, probably meditating about her life on the force or something. Alright. I appreciate the help, deputy, but next time, watch where you're fucking going, okay? You nearly killed me, okay? You're gonna see a write-up of this on your desk soon enough. Because you just ran me the fuck over. I'm not gonna get over it anytime soon. So, deputy, you're dismissed. You're clear to go. Think about what you did, deputy. Uh oh. I don't think he can get in the car. <laughs> I locked his car. I locked his car and he just like, oh fuck, I can't get in. And he just decides to break the glass. My god. Can he even drive the fuck out of there? I don't even know. And I don't even know what the hell she's doing over there. I'm not gonna... Oh, crap. I forgot about this uh, vehicle. Jesus, okay. I'm gonna call a tow truck for this. And uh, I'm not gonna let you sit around and watch that. Because that I've been calling in a tow truck a hundred times already playing LSPDFR. So yeah. Dispatch, we're gonna be code 4. We're gonna be 10-8 off of that pursuit. And uh, we're gonna need 1185 out here. We may have a possible prostitute in the area, so I'm gonna... Citizens report a group of suspicious persons loitering, possible campers, and... Great I'm gonna let another unit respond to that. Right now we have a possible prostitute in the area who does not give a damn that I'm sitting right here with my lights on. Yeah, you better run. You can spook off the prostitutes and or the hookers in this game by just simply turning on your sirens like that. Stage 3. It has to be stage 3. And yeah. she There she goes, just running away. I'm not gonna arrest her. She's kinda young. Hopefully that scared her enough to not do this, this kind of shit again. So yeah. That was interesting. We've got citizens reporting an attempted arson attack in Grande Sonora Desert. Dispatch one liquid 15, show me en route. Um, what do you want me to respond? Code 2, code 3. I'm probably gonna go over there. Okay, there you go. We're gonna be responding code 2 to a possible arson attempt. Concerned citizens are reporting a male suspect carrying a jerry can in the area. Dude, you just ran that stop sign. You want me to pull you over? You're lucky I can't pull you over because right now I'm responding to an emergency. It's right around here. I'm not sure what he's trying to burn out here, but uh, we're gonna reduce here and uh, turn off our lights and see what we've got. He's right around this area. I see someone out there. Oh my god, I hate confronting suspects in dark areas. 
Wait, we're gonna back up here and see what he does. Yep, he's carrying a jerry can. Alright. Fuck this, we're gonna do the heads on crazy approach here. Sir, can you stop? Thank you. Just stay there, don't move. I'm gonna have my hand here ready on the gun just in case. Evening, sir. What do you think you're doing out there? Uh, I've got a report of uh, someone. Uh, I got a report from a concerned citizen saying that you've been going around carrying a jerry can. Uh, where are you headed to, sir? I'm headed to my friend's home. May I know what are you going to do there? I need to let them know that fire is hot. What the fuck? Dispatch, I got one running away from me. Why do you have my rifle with me? Sir, you better stop running. You better stop running, sir. You are not running away from me. Dispatch, I need a code 3 unit down here. I got one running on foot west on Josh rest towards Joshua Road. Looks like that, that unit wasn't far off. Oh, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired, dispatch, shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired, dispatch, shots fired. Put the gun down, I said put the gun down. Shots fired here, dispatch, shots fired. Drop that gun, drop that gun. Sir, I'm gonna give you one last chance, drop that gun right now. I swear to God, if you don't drop the gun, you are gonna die tonight. Drop that gun, drop! I'm taking cover. Guys, I ran out of ammo. I ran out of ammo, it's up to you now, take him down. Dispatch, I need I need backup down here. Shots fired on uh, near, just off of West Joshua Road. I'm out of ammo. And back up, just insta spawned right there. Why can't these guys take him down? Dispatch, shots fired down here. Oh my god, is he like on god mode right now or something? Because they can't take him down. Yeah, we need some fucking assistance because this guy's not dying. Do you guys mind sparing me some ammo? Because I can't, for the life of me, do anything. Dispatch shots are still fired down here on off of West Joshua Road. He's not dying. He's on steroids, people. He's not dying. Maintain your distance, folks. Any of you have an extra magazine or something I can use? Because I'm out of ammo. This guy is on steroids, he's not dying. I'm taking cover because I can't shoot. I'm out of ammo, this guy's... Like, I don't know. This guy's on fucking god mode, he's not dying. Deputy, if you mind, I'm gonna grab your rifle from the car here real quick. Oh, he's, in, he's on the wheel. He's on the wheel. He just stole a police car. He just stole a police car. Dispatch, I need an air unit down here. What do you mean we're code 4? There's a guy out there. He just stole a police car and he's on steroids. And now I have this officer's rifle with me. Okay, I got an air unit out to look for him because he just stole a police car. So we're gonna... Try our best to get attached to that pursuit. Let me just run down here real quick. Oh my god. 
That air unit is still searching for him. He was last seen headed in this direction. Where could did he be? Ah, oh, crap. He got away, motherfucker. That's really unfortunate. Who the hell is that speeding down the road, though? I'm gonna go after him. I see someone speeding down the road here. I'm not sure if it's him. But uh, if it is not him, we're gonna call it off. Is this him? Is this him? I need to get a closer look, though. Can't see if that's him. Is that him? Oh, it's just an officer, god damn it. Sorry, officer. I thought you were that guy in the stolen car. There's a stolen police car, scar out here. God. Well, he got away. I'm not sure what the guy was on, but uh, he wasn't going down. He was not going down, and unfortunately, he got away in a Ford police sedan, I believe. He just stole a car and uh, fucked off out of there, and uh, he was not going down. I got multiple officers on scene, and uh, he was not going down. He just was not going down. That is really unfortunate. He got away with one of our police cars, so we're gonna have to notify the sheriff and uh, uh, tell him that one of our police cars got stolen, and now there should be a bolo out for it because it's a stolen police car. He probably is gonna ditch it somewhere. I'm pretty sure he's not planning to keep the car anytime soon because it's on fire because we are looking for a stolen police car, but uh, he got away for now, unfortunately. So dispatch one liquid 15, code for Adam, show me 10-8. 10 Attention all units, a 914 Adam in Santion Ski Mountain Range. Unit Looks like we're en route to that 20 where that uh, call out is. So dispatch one liquid 15, show me en route. We're gonna be responding to a suicide and I know where that location is. It's in one of those uh, refineries up there. And people jump up from there all the time. And looks like we already quite got the scene here. Got quite the scene down here. Wow. I'm gonna turn off my radar here. Because it's just triggering all the time. Oh shit. That was my bad. That was my bad. Coming through. Highway, looks like Highway Patrol, Los Santos County, and Lane County Sheriffs are down here. This batch one, look at 15, show me 1097 to that 914. 10-4. He may be up there in one of the refineries. So, how the fuck am I gonna get past this? You want me to respond to this and you can't even let me pass. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the long way around, I guess. Oh my god. Let me just make sure there are no trains because trains have become my nightmare ever since episode 8 or was that 7? I'm not sure. Okay, so we're just gonna go over the tracks here and make sure we don't get stuck. We got the fire department out here, got paramedics out here on standby. Commanding officer is right there. I'm gonna go to my lieutenant and see. Well, let's try to figure out where the guy is first uh, give me a minute okay so one of the features in wilderness callouts is a uh, our pair of binoculars I believe this is the hotkey if this will fucking even work there we go let's see where he's at right now I don't see where he is Okay, before we talk to the lieutenant, let's... Oh, I see him. Yep, there he is. Oh my god. That mustache, though. But yeah, seriously, he... We need to get him down from there before he does anything drastic. That is a long way down. 
Like seriously, that is a long way down. If he falls, he's instantly dead. Like, even if paramedics are right here right now, they can't do anything. He's surely gonna be dead, but there might be a slight chance he'll live. But uh, we're gonna see about that. So let's put our binoculars away here real quick. Okay. We're gonna be talking to our lieutenant here and see what we can do about this. Howdy. Evening, lieutenant. What we got? What can I do? We need you to go up there fast. Alright. And convince him not to not commit suicide. Alright. I'll try. Come on. Yes, sir. I'll get on it. So, Lieutenant calls me in because he trusts my suicide uh, negotiation skills. So, we're gonna be... Uh, hopefully, he, doesn't, he didn't see me trying to climb up here. So, we're gonna try to climb up here. We need to be careful about what we're doing. Because this is... Holy crap. Do not look down. Don't fucking look down. I am scared of heights. Do not look down. It is a long way down. Sir? Sir, just relax. I'm just an officer. I'm not gonna go near you, okay? I'm Sergeant Nighthawk from the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. What seems to be the problem? You don't have to do this, sir, okay? This is not a good idea. You don't know what happened to me. Well, sir, whatever you're going through, you're... I'm pretty sure yeah, you're gonna make it. It's just a temporary setback. It's not gonna um, it's not gonna ruin your entire life. Uh, tell me what I can do to support you. I can help you. Is there anything I can do to support you? I'm gonna bring my taser out, just in case on the off chance that I can save him. Sir, I promise you, the way you're feeling will change. It's just a temporary setback. This is something you'll regret. The moment you leap off that, uh, the moment you leap off the ledge here, once you fall all the way down, you are going to regret it. The moment you're falling down towards the ground, you are going to regret it. Sir? I'm not gonna do it, I'm going down. Oh, thank God. I was ready to see some nasty shit. But uh, thankfully that didn't happen. Okay, everyone's gonna go off of this now. All units, we are code four. No further units required. Only code 15 confirmed that 914 Adam is code four. So that guy's hopefully gonna be sent to these to a psychiatric facility for evaluation. And uh, see if we can uh, piece his life back together. But for now, the thing that matters is he didn't commit. Uh, he didn't take his life. Uh, he didn't take his life tonight. That is another suicide in our book resolved. And that charger has no wheels for some reason. What the fuck? Okay, I'm just gonna act like I didn't see that. So dispatch one liquid 15. We're gonna be back 10 8. Units, assault with a deadly weapon, a civilian in need of assistance on Marina Drive. Okay, dispatch is telling me to respond code 3. But I don't think that's a good idea. Looks like we got some Joker in a clown costume. And uh, we're gonna see what we can do. The clown apparently has a machete, so we're gonna go over here and search the area. And boy, do I hate clowns. I fucking hate them as a kid. Dispatch, we're 1097 in the area. There's a train coming by. I'm hoping... I think I see him. I think that's him. Oh my god, that is fucking scary. <laughs> Dispatch, I'm good thinking I got eyes on that uh, individual. Oh, he's running, he's running. Dispatch, I need backup down here. I got one subject running along the railroad tracks in a clown costume. He has a machete, be advised. I need state patrol assistance as well. Sir, you better stop. 
Oh, he's coming at me. He's coming at me. You better not, sir. You better not. You are gonna get shot. 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 Put the knife down. Put the... God damn it. Surrendered a bit too late. Yep, he is a dumbass. Let's secure the knife here. I think we already did. Dispatch, I need code 3 EMS down here. I got a clown that just got shot to hell. Ambulance. I need code 3 EMS down here. We're gonna be on the railroad tracks here off of East Joshua Road. Uh, deputy, you might want to get off the railroad tracks here because you, you are probably going to die. Deputy. <laughs> this deputy is just standing... Deputy, please move. Yes, please move. You're gonna get your ass run over. What the shit? And there we go. EMS is on scene. Dead clown. I don't know if he was trying to do those uh, cool douchebag pranks you see on YouTube. But uh, if this was a prank, it certainly did not go well for this guy. He had a knife and he was coming at me. And that uh, obviously didn't end well for him. I'm gonna pull out my flashlight here so this paramedic can see what she's doing. I shot him straight in the chest. He might not make it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just moved that deputy in time. And he's dead. I shot him straight in the chest. Just at the very last second, he surrendered. He just decided to surrender and... Uh, uh, at that same last second, I, I shot him. He surrendered a bit too late. Alright, we're gonna search the body here. Ace Gunner is the name according to the paramedics. So we're gonna search the body and see what history he's got. Nothing like a dead clown. You have no idea how much this pleases me. There you go. Baggie of unmarked pick pills, lockpicking tools, and a hand sanitizer. Okay then. Boy, you have no idea how much I like to see dead clowns because I fucking hate them as a kid. They are just loud, scary, and... I don't know, they're just so fucking scary. Like, right now my room is really... <laughs> is as the lights out it's kind of dark in here and i don't want to turn around and like see a clown just staring down at me with a knife like holy fuck now i'm scared i'm not gonna mention anymore let's get the corner out there so i can get the fuck out of here dispatch can you get the corner down here 11:44. clown is down my goodness what's that sound Oh, it's that ambulance stuck under the railroad tracks. My goodness. Okay, coroner is making his way down here. Yep, that ambulance is stuck. No vertical clearance at all. I'm just gonna insta spawn the corner because I know he's gonna get stuck. So, coroner is on scene. They're gonna take the body away. I'm not gonna bother running a background check on Ace Gunner. Another day, another death, another sorrow, another breath. I wonder who said that. His cause of death was shot by handgun. Handgun. Yep, shot straight in the chest. Quite the shootout here. We've been having quite the shootout out here. God, that ambulance will not get out of there. So dispatch one liquid fifteen that. Uh, uh, 415 is gonna be code 4. Well, not 415, a 245. Assault with a deadly weapon. Wow, that train just passed by. Deputy not giving a damn. This by 215, we're gonna be code 4 back 10-8. 10-4. Officers report a possible 148 and the Alamo C. Shots fired. Oh my god. Yeah, Fucking dumbass. Just stop. Dispatch on the 15, we're gonna be in route code 3. Looks like we got pursuit of armed suspects uh, headed eastbound onto East Joshua Road here, headed to, out towards route 13. 
I swear, if it's another Kuruma, I'm gonna piss myself. Hopefully they're not in an armored car or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable tactics here until I give them the authority to do so. So, dispatch on the 15, we're responding code 3, about to cross uh, Route 13 here. Make sure I cross the freeway here safely. Thank you for letting me pass. Thank you for letting me pass. Looks like they're out here on uh, Union here. We're about to catch up. And we're gonna call it in an air unit here just so, as an insurance policy, we don't uh, lose the guy. So, dispatch, we're gonna need air support down here. Uh, the guy's moving pretty fast. Ah, crap, fuck. Ended up in the gutter there. Air unit is en route, so that means we're probably not gonna lose him anytime soon, but uh, that unit uh, just lost him, so hopefully this air unit needs to catch up before we permanently lose him. Okay, air unit has a visual on him. I do not want to end tonight's patrol with another suspect that got away. There he is. We're gonna be southbound on East Joshua Road. Air unit has eyes on the guy. Dispatch, uh, we're gonna be attached to that pursuit momentarily. We have visual on it right now. We're westbound East Joshua Road. We're about a couple meters away. Trying to catch up. I'm losing frames. I don't know why. Oh my god, that unit just took himself out. Out of the way, people. Oh my god, I see people on a truck there. We may have multiple suspects. So I'm gonna have to call in the SWAT unit here. Dispatch, we advised I am primary on that pursuit. I got multiple individuals, got two on a truck. Let's see if a verbal uh, command will bring an end to all of this. Well, obviously that didn't work. So dispatch, pursuit still continuing on West, West Joshua Road. I have two individuals out back on the truck, which is illegal by the way. And I got, not sure how many people are in the vehicle, but at least one, at most two. But uh, we're going to maintain our distance a bit here because we might get shot here. We're going to be south, West Joshua Road, headed towards Harmony. We're going to need a SWAT unit out here. Just so we can get these guys neutralized just in case they try something funny. Deputy, you stay behind me. I'm primary. Oh, there's a SWAT unit right in front of us. Oh! Major crash. Major TC, but that truck is still going on. I'm surprised they didn't fly off the truck here. Deputy, don't even try to overtake me. You stay back there. I got Blaine County and a ground unit with me. Trying to figure out how to get this guy stopped. We're probably gonna uh, start with some spike strips. So dispatch, we're gonna need spike strips out here. This guy is east on Sonora Road. We need some spike strips down here. And out of all the places they could have placed it, they spawned it right there. Motherfucker, okay. Dispatch, another set of spike strips, please. We're gonna be on Sonora Road headed southbound. Deputy, I swear to God, you are a dumbass, Deputy. Deputy, stay back, goddammit. You are not authorized to do a pit. Oh, they're slowing down, they're slowing down. Looks like they're screwed here. Oh, I'm staying back, I'm staying back. Okay, got one surrounding, got multiple people running, shots fired. I got two people running, I got shots fired over there. She's down, she's down. Oh, I got... They're stealing a car, they're stealing a car. They're headed towards us, they're headed towards us. Whoa, look out, look out, look out! Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You are gonna get shot. Where's that other subject? My lord, he just ran over an officer. Looks like he's gonna be okay. My goodness, where's that other guy? 
So far we got three in custody. Let's close the road down here before people go crazy down here. Wait, there's a red blip here. I don't see anything down here though. Oh, I'm sorry there. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay, so far we have one, two, three. Wow, we got a lot of suspects in custody. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna bother with the paperwork on all of this because fuck that shit. I'm just gonna call in uh, EMS down here. And I'm gonna let them do the paperwork, which means we're not gonna see the court case of this because fuck this shit, I'm not doing the paperwork on this. Dispatch, I need EMS down here, I got the woman down here. Ambulance, assistance needed in Vinewood Hills. I'm just gonna transport the rest of these people out of here. We need prison transport out of here for all these folks. I'm not gonna do the search or any bullshit like that because there's too much going on. So, um... Whoops, I didn't need to do that. So, to those of you new to the channel, or to those of you watching this channel, basically, court cases are a 50-50 thing. I'm not gonna do it for every suspect I arrest, because sometimes it's just too tedious. Like, incidents like this, there are too many people under arrest right now. Got one over there. Got two down here, and I got one all the way up there on the hill, and I don't even want to bother walking back and forth dealing with that shit. Let me just insta-spawn the uh, ambulance because it's stuck out here. There we go. Let's call prison transport so we can get the people who are arrested out of here. Backup required in Vinewood Hills. I don't even know how they're gonna do that. What the fuck was that? People just screaming randomly. So far we got one down and I got an officer here that just got ran the fuck. Ran the fuck. Just got run the fuck over but uh... He's gonna be okay. Wait. Who is she treating? She's treating nobody. What the fuck? There's someone dead over here but uh, can't be seen. God, what the hell. This has turned into a partial shit show. But yeah, we're just gonna call in. Oh, she's gonna be okay. Apparently. Oh my god, this officer is actually down. Holy fuck, he's actually down. These assholes are gonna pay, but too bad I'm too lazy to do the court case for that. My god, officer down. First on the LSP E4 series, officer down. What does EMS have to say? Yep, he's a cop and he's dead. What a tragedy. Dispatch 1144, officer down. Can I get coroner down here? Dispatch any coroner down here, got an officer down. Notify the family. How unfortunate. Let's search the body here. Let's see what his name is so we can, uh, uh, remember him at least. Remember his name. Bl Blue Cephos? What the fuck? That is like the last name I'd expect for him. But I guess, rest in peace, Blue Cephos, 1993 to 2019. His birthday was in a month and a few weeks. How unfortunate. Got an officer down, got run the fuck over by these assholes. So let's just keep getting people out of here. Because this guy is getting impatient. Backup needed and Got a lot of people under arrest. More than five even. My god. Needed. You got a prison Back transport. Oh, my bad. Let's just clear the scene down here, then we're gonna go 10-7. Right. 
So a coroner has picked up the body. Fortunately, it's one of ours. And, uh, yeah. That family is gonna be... Mourning for his loss, unfortunately. That was sad. Trying to get these guys stopped because uh, shots fired and they were on a truck. Probably a drive-by crime and... Two guys steal a car and try to run us over. They just tried to run us over. But uh, yeah, they didn't get very far. This Bearcat stopped them before they could do additional damage. How unfortunate. Let's just keep getting everyone transported out of here. Let's call a tow truck for this. I'm not going to bother with the investigation because uh, that's a lot of work to do. Oops, I didn't need to do that. See? So much stuff to do. Just gonna call a tow truck for that and get everyone out here. Let's at least clean this crime scene up. We're just gonna RP that the officers and the others are doing the arrest reports and the paperwork for that. Not gonna bother with that. Paperwork is always messy in law enforcement. So let's get prison transport for him. And we'll get prison transport for the other uh, female over there. If I can just find the button, but I'm not finding it down here. What the hell? Where is the prison transport? I can't transport these guys for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this, I guess. And then do this. For some reason, it's not showing up on the smart radio here. And you get a prison transport. You get a prison transport. You get a prison transport. Everyone gets a prison transport. Who is this guy? God, what a mess. We're gonna have to tow this vehicle too. This is a stolen vehicle as well. Dispatch, I need another flatbed out there for that second stolen vehicle. Oh my god, what a mess. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay, we're gonna be code 4 off this shit show. Just gonna skip to the outro because too much is going on. <laughs> I'm just gonna open the road back up here because it is a mess. I hate it when things like that. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? Holy fuck, that scared me. We got a huge explosion out here. Oh my lord, this has just turned into a shit show. Dispatch, I need fire department out here. Oh my god, we need ambulance and fire department out here. We need a fire department out here as well. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, we're getting away from here. Explosions everywhere. Holy shit. Yeah, you better fucking arrive on scene. We got a major explosion out here. Oh my god, they're gonna get... Oh my god, ambulance is on fire and they're dead too. You know, fuck this. We're, we're getting out of here. We're getting the fuck out of here. We're getting the fuck out of here. We are getting the fuck out of here. So much is happening. Oh my fucking god. It is a mess. I'm getting out of here. Hopefully my car is not on fire here. Jesus. I don't even know what the fuck happened. But uh, we're gonna get out of here. Several explosions. Got a lot of firefighters on scene. Oh my god. So we're just going to do our outro here while that's happening. Okay, that's going to do it for our episode. I think we had quite the explosive ending there. Oh my god. That was not realistic at all. Looks like they put out the fire. I called the fire department just once and the game decided, Nope, you need three fire trucks on this. Oh my god. Everyone on that uh, attend who attended to that uh, pursuit is dead now holy shit well that was quite the shit show but nonetheless hilarious that's gonna do it for this episode 
hope you enjoyed once again thank you to the people who subscribe to this channel and hopefully uh you can get some of your friends who love lspdfr as well to subscribe to this channel's channel as well and don't forget to su subscribe to my facebook page as well so my name is nighthawk and i will see you guys in the next shift hopefully it doesn't turn out as disastrous as this peace out